going on my Super Sandwiches? Ryan Sal here. Today I bring another PSA Grey Return and I have no idea what's inside this box. I assume it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Because if I remember correctly, I should have three Yu-Gi-Oh! boxes with one on the way still at the time we record this video. And actually, they should have two sets of submissions that they got this week, which we'll probably get in the next like month or so, depending on how busy it gets for them. So, first things first, let's go and crack open these boxes. I got two of them over here, and I believe just like last time, it's going to be basically like, oh, actually no, this is kind of heavy. There's maybe a couple cards in here. Make sure I don't show my address or anything in there. Let's just pop them out real fast. I've already cut them open, so I don't have to struggle on camera. You know how it is. Oh yeah, these are definitely Yu-Gi-Oh cards. These are 100%. I hi guy, you guys are probably like, why does he keep saying what's inside it when it's clearly in the title? Because when I sit down, like I said, I don't know. The only time I ever, ever, like looked ahead for what a grade was was probably when I sent that Shadowless first edition Charizard in. Otherwise, prior to it, when these boxes arrive, I have no idea what to expect. So let's find out. I assume it's going to be like Blue Eyes and Dark Magician Girls. Close. Serpent Knight. All right, make sure I got the right one. Uh, is this the right one? Because I have two orders next to me. If you're wondering how I do this, by the way, I, uh, I sc essentially what I do is, is I'll scroll down or scroll up to the top of the card because these are all sent in the order that they're submitted in. I'll always scroll up to the top of the card and uh, I just go down slowly to see, you know, what the grades, or not what the grades are, but what the population is after I reveal the score. I pulled this out of a pack, so this is going to be a 10. It's a 9, why not? Uh, actually, no, I know why, because look, look, this is some terrible centering. Terrible centering. On top of that, uh, Serpent Knight, unless you have like the, um, the first edition version, is not that valuable. Six nines and seven tenths, which is ironic because usually the unlimited versions have a lot less in print. Uh, or not in print, but in like in circulation in the first edition version because everybody sends in the first edition versions. Speaking of first edition, Black Illusion Ritual. Ah, breaking my balls. How many does exist? Uh, probably not that many as well. Yeah, you know, actually, no, this is exactly the point I was making. 16 nines and 23 tenths, which is like a big difference compared to the secret rare version next to me right now. But again, first, I mean, magic card, not spell card. Magic card, first edition is like. Anything, especially the older one when they still will call magic cards, are like super clutch to get graded. Oh, the Palladium, um, what's his name? Uh, Oracle. Oh, this is gonna be a 10. Yeah. Look how gorgeous this card is. So this came out of uh, the same set where I got this mat, which I get a lot of questions asking me, where do you get this mat? So essentially, oh, this is this set. Oh, I'm excited about this. I got some potential fire in here. So a while back, uh, I think earlier this year, in the next, like, in the last like three months, they released a 20 year anniversary set where essentially you got this uh, Palladium Oracle card which is essentially the one that becomes, uh, he becomes Dark Magician. That's in, the, that's in the actual lore of the story. And the card is absolutely gorgeous. How many exist actually? How many of these exist? It's gotta be like one or two. One! The only graded one in the world for right now. For right now. Again, don't know what the value of this is. If I don't, by the way, again, I'm gonna toss it out there, but if I don't throw up the value of a card, it's because I just don't know what it is. I mean, I could throw you the value, like, for example, I, I own the only one. I could say, oh, this is worth, like, 400 bucks, but who's gonna pay 400 bucks? So it's like, I, I don't really know. Um, but they, they released a set where they had, a, you get three old Volume 1 booster packs, you get this, and then you get this mat, which means, which means, oh, not yet. Maybe it's somewhere in, in, in the back of this set. Uh, we gotta go through this first. So, so this is from Magician's Force. I pulled this myself. It's a nine, but I feel like because it's the unlimited version, exactly, look at this. Unlimited version, two nines exist, and no tens. I feel like I own the second nine as well. I don't know, people just don't grade the Magician's Force, or not Magician's Force, but the unlimited version of, of cards as much, which I feel like they should, they don't sleep on them. They're like the, the, the cheaper versions of the main cards. Ah, not yet, Black Lost of Soldier, this is just the, the Master Collection one, this is not the valuable one. A nine, as expected. I mean, it wasn't in perfect condition, so I can kind of accept that. I'm not even gonna look up the point on that. Actually, yeah, why not? M might as well, because it's always kind of interesting to look up the points or the scores for um, some of these cards. Uh, there are currently two nines and four tens. The interesting part of looking up nines in Yu Gi Oh! as opposed to Pokemon is there's just a lot less. A lot less. Spell Canceler! Uh, I used to love this card when I was a kid, because basically you run this with Jinzo, you are blocking up the entire back row. For well, both you and the other player, right? Is it just for, yeah, all spell cards? It's a nine. I feel like this is the only nine in, ex in existence and no tens. Watch, I'm calling right now. Yeah, I was right. One nine and zero tens. So I feel like sometimes I'm the only person that grades Yu-Gi-Oh cards at times. Mahavilo, I pulled this out of a pack as well. Non-first edition version, so it's not as valuable. It's a nine. Why? Can I at least get that as a ten? Can I at least get one Magic Ruler card I pulled? As a 10, good news is it's the only nine, so I guess it's kind of uh, rare. And three tens, though. 
See, someone at least graded the Maha Vilos. Someone out there did it. Uh, oh, please be a 10. Is it a 10? Yes! Probably my favorite card of all time. You guys know me. I absolutely love Sal Magician. And having this as a 10... Actually, if I remember correctly, one of the sets is coming back later this week. I, I did the the, uh, the collector rare version of these cards. Uh, so I can't wait to see what we get out of that. But this, the English version, first edition, yes please. Absolutely yes please. There are currently two 10s. Wow, one other person knows a 10. I wonder who that could be. And before, I, maybe I sent another card and it's just on its way still or something. And I just don't remember. But I, I'll take it. I love that card. Right on the Forbidden One from the Lost Art series. This is going to be an 8 or a 9. Every time. I think I got out of the five pieces, I own two of these as tens. Everything else keeps coming back as like nines and stuff. And I don't know why. Maybe it's just a centering or something. There's something wrong with it that I just don't don't normally see. Oh, this is gonna be like a seven. Oh, it's a nine this time. I want I look, I actually pulled this out of a pack the other day in uh, on video, and I don't know why, but I want these as ten. This is like a two dollar card, but but because it's it's a uh, freaking dark magician girl, dark magician girl, I wanted it as a ten, and I cannot get these as tens ever. Look at this. Bam, five. Oh, that's a first edition LOE blue eyes. I thought I had more of these. There's probably more probably in the bottom of there. Seven, unfortunately. That sucks. Whatever. Maybe maybe I might re-review this one just in case because uh, I, don't know, I feel like this is better than a seven, but you know how it is. It's, it's always nice to have a second look at it. Dude, you get this as a ten. This is like the holy grail. Well, no. The main holy grail blue eyes is the one from uh, DDS, the Dark Duel Stories, which if you buy a card alone, it's like $1,000. As a PSA 10, you're talking about 2000 bucks. Oh, I pulled this the other day, and just to show you, actually, the printing on these is just weird because you can probably see scratches on. The, you might not be able to fully see them, but there's like a printing error that they always have with the Ghost Rare cards. Um, this is gonna be like an eight or a seven. Ah, it's an eight. This is not the one I pulled. The one I pulled definitely is in better shape. Uh, I did send it off. Not yet. I'm gonna send it off probably in the next week or so. So hopefully that one comes back a lot better. But for now. That's neat. But I love that card. Any blue eyes to me is like is always a W. Oh yeah, let's check out how many of these exist. So wait, wait, what's this first? Ah, it's a seven. I was like, can it at least be a nine? Let's look at the eight. We don't have to really look at the seven. 48. There are 13 eights and 18 higher, which means wow, how many tens exist? Now I'm kind of curious to know how many tens exist, because I feel like most of those higher between those eight will probably all be like nines. Dark magician go, oh, be at least eight or higher. Still, the journey continues. I might, I might re-review this. Uh, the centering is a little bit off, but I think this, this could be at least nine worthy. The first edition version as well. Such a gorgeous card. Notice how, I, yeah, yeah. Notice the difference here. I, I point this out a lot, but like censoring is is wild. Censoring of cards, I just, I don't agree with. It's just a card, man. It's just a card. How many eights exist? This is like the second holy grail of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, because like, you get this as a ten. We're talking about it's the, it's the money card. It is absolutely the money card. There's 27 eights and 124 higher split between nines and tens. Speaking of which, the unlimited version, 10. Ooh, it's even worse. Why is this a six? What, what happened with it? I feel like this could be definitely higher than, uh, I didn't pull this. I mean, I know it's not perfect because like at the top, you can see there's a little bit of widening right there, but like I, I got into six, I know six. I definitely re-reviewed that one as well. Dark Necro Fear from the Master Collection. It's gonna be a nine. Yeah, oh, it's an eight actually. Whatever. I'm not even gonna look that up to be honest. Master Collection, like I, I like that set. Speaking of Master Collection, I like that set, but I feel like the cards aren't really as valuable. They're just kind of there. Yu-Gi-Oh is just full of reprints, uh, unfortunately. Right, at least that's a nine. At least that one came back as a nine. Next one. Oh, there it is. Power to Kaishin. We're off to a good start. We are off to a good start. Theoretically, all four of these, because it's four cards, should be tens. They have to be. There's one of these in the world. I mean, who graded the power of Kaishin? Who cares about that? Next one. Book of Art, Secret Book of Arts. Ten again. It's a good sign. It is absolutely an amazing sign. One ten in the world, once again. Next one. Number three. Ooh. Ay, that's a bad sign. Please don't let the next card be... There's, there's one nine and no tens in the world, but hey, please don't let the next one be, don't let the next one be anything under a 10, because look. Yes! That's what I wanna see! That's what I wanna see! Dude, so when you buy the set, essentially, which is again, it comes from this here, you are guaranteed to get uh, one of two ultra rares, which is either this or the Guide of Fierce Knight. 
uh, one of three super rares, which consisted of Dark Hole, Fisher, and um, Trap Hole. And then they had like, uh, I think like three regular rares. So you're basically got a 50-50% chance to get a Dark Magician. So to get this as a 10, that's awesome. Again, I have no idea what the value of this is because this is the only one in the world. What, did, I, did I already look at it or no? No, just kidding, there's six in the world. There's currently six in the world, which is still a really, really low quality uh, or really low number, but that's awesome. That is awesome. Totally makes it worth getting the set. And finally, Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight, which is, I believe this is just a reprint. It's a nine, whatever. You know what, this is a success. This is an absolute success. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and look up all these prices and hopefully we can find some. If not, I'm just probably not gonna throw them up in here because it's a lot more difficult to look up the prices of graded cards as opposed to the non-graded versions, but yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thank you for watching. My name is Rhyme Style. Hit that thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.